are seeing me basically take a look at this deck for the very first time. It looks like we are playing some Rakdos Dragons, some treasures. We've got Orb of Dragonkind. We have the new Fearsome Whelp, which I've seen do a couple of things, which are pretty neat. Uh, and then the rest seems pretty straightforward. All cards we've seen before. Oh, uh, Town Razor Tyrant. When it enters battlefield target land, uh, you don't control, loses all abilities, and it shocks them each turn unless they sacrifice it. I've played against that card. It sucks. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and take it in, see if we can get our minimum of four wins for uh, some free collection building. And again, special thank you to LK for submitting the deck list as well. What's the best packs to open right now? I mean, it depends. It's gonna be different for everybody based on their collection. Uh, and it depends on what you wanna play or build, right? If you wanna play historic, you shouldn't open standard decks or vice versa. All right, this seems okay. I mean, I don't love it, but it's fine. Uh-oh. Hmm. I don't think that card is the problem. So we're gonna go here. They're probably gonna play the cleric, the 2-2 for black and white next turn, which goes to a 3-3, and then we kill that, I think. There it is. Goes to a 3-3. Sacrifice orb. Look at the top seven cards of your library. May reveal a dragon at two mana of any combination. I think I'll just play this now. No attacks. All right, you got it. Life gain bits. Cha cha cha. Next turn, we can cast both of these things to protect our card. Uh oh. We do want to kill this next turn, regardless. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow, ow, ow. Stop hurting me. I liked the uh, Blight Priest dr draft deck, it was great. In limited. Decline. This seems fine. Go to combat. Attacky attack. Get rid of scary stuff. We definitely don't want you getting back out with the uh, rare card. I'm happy to cast the Razor Tyrant next turn as well because the Razor Tyrant will make this black land not so good, right? And just about target land you don't control. It makes their black land shock them a bunch. Hmm. This does say perpetually, so that's helpful. We have a nice little blocker here. Nice. So it got to keep the perpetual, which is neat. They do not have good attacks. They're almost dead or out of cards, I should say. Red. Let's target this land. Ha <laughs> ha. Two attackers, let's go. Come on, dragons. Let's go, baby. They are a life gain deck, so each creature they play is going to uh, basically remove the trigger on the Town Razor Tyrant, but it's certainly going to set them back a fair amount of life as well. 
which I feel like they will slowly but surely start to regret. Oh gosh, what's this one do? Enters the battlefield, conjure a card, name, whatever, whatever. Discard, hey, here we are. Tap target creature you don't control. Make a copy of the thing, you got it. Do it again. Conjure a card name. All right, it's tapped. It's conjuring itself. Yeah. And this just goes forever. Sacrifice. Look for dragon. Gold span dragon, huh? They have no cards in hand. So I just need to not die, is the trick. As long as I don't die, we're okay. I'm definitely gonna replay this. I would like to keep this. I would like to make the treasure to make sure we can cast Gold Span Dragon next turn. Oh, it we would have been able to anyway. But I definitely like casting it for cheaper. If they sack that, it means they can't activate the land, which is good for me. Hey oh. Okay, well now they can. <laughs> I get to remove a card from my graveyard or something. This is okay. I would definitely would like to not die here, but they have no cards in hand. Two blockers. This. Oh, that is Menace. Okay, that's probably not getting blocked then. This. This. And this. Ouchie. I should have sacked one of them or something. Hey, with treasure. not die. This is lethal next turn regardless. I'd like to keep two blockers. This seems fine. Come on, baby. We can do it. Come on, what a top deck. Oh no. Oh, this is okay. 
They can't activate and do that. Cool. We're good. They can they can attack me for a bit and make a bunch of things and gain a bunch of life, but they can't quite kill me. I was like, oh no, because I was thinking they would be able to tap both our things, activate their land, dome us for exactly five, but they can't because they have to spend their mana. And now they are lay dead. Huzzah! All right. 1-0, baby. Feels good. Let's go, dragons. I don't know if that's the kind of thing you might be jealous of, but I did indeed get my metal tokens today. And I'm pretty excited. This is nice. We're going to get to cast the Razor Tyrant on three. We could do that technically with this, actually, now that I think about it, and it would be bigger. I did not get number 69, Timidor. No, unfortunately not. I was looking for the golden ticket and just did not get it. I don't know what this is, but I'm kind of down to kill it. I feel like there's going to be some sort of trick happening. I didn't get 42 either. No, I got the, the back end. I've got uh, 176 through 200 exactly out of 200. I was a little bummed, but it's okay. I also have the demo, so that's nice. Hard to complain about that. Olivia Crimson Bride is a pretty interesting mechanic with these, like, ATB dragons. I dig it. All right, can I get a land, please? No? Okay. Rude. I shouldn't have played paid with treasure, actually. Now that I think about it, mm, mistakes were made. Yeah, if you guys would like to pre-order the new Vampire Werewolf metal tokens, I know they're a little bit more expensive, but this is the last metal token that will be made uh, for like the very, very near future, far future. We've got nothing else in the works, just so you guys know. Um, this will be likely the last promotional token uh, for myself and CGB. Hey, cool kids, it's me, it's CGB, telling you that Cool Stuff Inc. is teaming up with Covert Go Blue and MTG Nerd Girl on a spooktacular limited edition set of black metal tokens. This is a one time only production run with each set of tokens individually numbered and totally unique. And this time around, we're accenting the gothic horror vibes of these wolf and vampire tokens with a black metal treatment. Pre-orders are only open for a short two week window. And after that, they'll never be offered again. Don't miss the chance to pre-order your unique token set today. CoolStuffInc.com, cool stuff in stock. Yeah, the uh, we got the metal ones for uh, Vampire Werewolf. The green screen kind of makes the werewolf one look a little funky. Hmm. This is 
probably a bad keep. Hello. Don't send people unwanted deck picks. I will do my best. Goodbye, dragon. You're dead. You're countered. <laughs> oh, wait. Is, oh, this one can't be countered? <laughs> God, I forgot. I was like, oh wait, is this the one? Oh my goodness. Almost amazing. <laughs> I got so excited. Goodbye, dragon. There's no way this resolves. Okay, could be worse. Okay, since you can't watch, what's your CGB vs. Crokey's prediction? Um, I don't really have one. You know, Dragon's Fire is really bad in this matchup, just saying. Yeah, where are my tokens? Here they are. Oof. I got 25 of them. And let me tell you, 25 is really heavy. Substantially heavier than I was expecting. I didn't mean to do that. all that black mana in your mono red deck. Um, I don't actually know if there are red cards or black cards in this deck. Uh, we've got Olivia and Predator. So there's some stuff. I didn't want them to be able to bounce this. 
That's why I revealed a dragon instead. The land still keeps the thing, which is nice. Hey, Nerdy Steve, welcome. Is Cardboard Live working? I don't think it's on. I'll turn it on right now. Thanks for letting me know. Sacrifice. Hello. Decline. For anybody who's new to the channel, if you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask. Exile all artifacts or creatures with mana value 3 or less. They perpetually gain... So I can respond here, but I wanted... I mean, it's better than this, right? Okay. That works out roughly the same. Red. They've missed land drops a few times. Cardboard Live hasn't been updated. Yeah, maybe I should start switching over to Untapped. I actually have a meeting with Untapped uh, next week, so there's a chance we might be switching over anyway. Oh, shoot. They got a field of ruin is super bad for me. Not sure how we win at this point. Like, I don't think top deck dragons are gonna be good enough. I'm glad we had an answer for dragon's fires, but... Ooh, we're short mana. Oh, we're not, we're not entirely short mana. Oh yeah, we are. Hmm. Top deck Inferno. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. They are running like main removal as well. They're gonna blow this up. I didn't wanna like Pass the opportunity. Okay, they're letting me kill it. That's nice. That's a lobster.
Oh shoot, I didn't even see the first time. Oh, converted from Prime Gaming to a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Delphi Guru. I really appreciate the support. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. Cha-cha-cha. Stupid lobster, I hate you. Lobster bounces things, though. Uh... It doesn't matter if they have any instant or sorcery spell, then the, the dragon gets bounced back to hand, right? So it bounces your haste dragon. Yeah, the issue is, is that we're dead in two turns, right? Like, if they bounce it. If they don't have an instant or a sorcery or, or instant speed spells, then yeah, we got a chance. Yeah, they just draw more spells with Deluge. There's no, like, nothing we can do. We just die to lobsters. All right, we got a little bit more oomph here. Is good. Hello. Uh, against green, I'm gonna try to keep the shatter smashing. I feel like we will need it. We also have the dragon orb, which is helpful. Where's our little whelp? Our little whelpy whelp. Yeah, I think it just, uh, all of the events award random. Like that's just kind of normal, I think. Moonvale Regent that much. It doesn't feel that strong to me. Their card gets out of control. So now we just shatter for four. And end the game. Why is it not tapping? That was weird. Oh, because it counts for two. Never mind. I see it now. <laughs> Took me a second. I don't know what I just clicked. 
choose a dragon. Reveal a dragon. We've already revealed it. Pew, pew, pew! Take six damage! Hey oh, Got him! Take that, mono green! Mwah! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I'm mad with power! Alright, guys, I need your help. Nerd Mom has taken my Switch, and she won't give it back. We're supposed to make some progress on our Pokemon game today, but my Switch is gone. It's gone forever. Is it for Happy Island friends? Yes, she likes it. She adores the Happy Island friends. I have not given her the ring fit, although I probably should. All right, how bad is this gonna get? Some whelp. He's so cute. He's quite ferocious. I like, I see the big mama dragon in the background. Oof. So cute. Dragons, let's go. What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna take two. That's what you're gonna do. F you, Lotus Cobra. You danger noodle. <laughs> exactly. Just scoop, but here we are. Sky noodle, danger sky noodle beats land sky land noodle. <laughs> A sky nope rope versus the land noodle. Yep, caution ramen. I like it. I wish I knew what they were playing. I want to keep this just in case it's like mono white or something. This is like game ending. Like that. Is unfortunate. Mm. 
what is a good replacement for Faceless Haven in a blue-white deck? There isn't really one. I do need to kill that before it gets out of control. Ooh, I forgot about that. You may discard your hand if you do draw that many card. Draw a card for each. So next turn, especially if we hit a land, we can do the thing. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked here. Yeah, if we hit a land, we discard our hand and we draw one. This game is so mean when it comes to crafting, definitely. It doesn't get much meaner than this game, that's for sure. You guys, I'm so hyped for the D-Gen Open. I think I just kinda wanna preserve my, well, no, fuck it. I want this thing to come down next turn. block with the with the rate regent if not hopefully they just play a spell or something i'm wondering if they did this so they could board clear five wins let's go nice job I think we're definitely gonna need to dragon's fire or something. I see. This is okay. play to land this turn shoot all right so let's hope whatever it is we can kill next turn with this or at least play this you got it they are running out of cards a little bit I'm hoping whatever this is does not kill us very quickly. Like, it's not a chariot. It's nothing too crazy. I'll happily trade the dragon away. All right, so it's just two damage. 
Scry. That's not good. They've got Face Burn in this deck? Okay. Great. I'm glad we don't have to worry about this land killing us later. Awesome. No attacks. I don't want like an oddity to kill me and I would happily trade this tyrant for an oddity. Because we, they've already shown that they've got some um, face shocks that go face and stuff. So I, I, I don't want to get too low here. Pretty happy to just do this. I don't want to get like oddityed. Ooh, actually oddity ranger class would kill us. <laughs> Be real bad. They're going to level up. You got it. But now we're doing okay. Now we have enough mana to Predator and whatever we want. Let's just put, put a clock on them here. We can jump with the Predator if we want. We can also dig for a, a, a hasty dragon, um, like the 4-4 or the 6-6, six, six, we would have enough to cast either of those. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. We're almost there. The nice thing about this deck, guys, is it's almost just straight standard. There's very few cards here that are alchemy specifics and it seems to be doing quite well. So, LK, thank you very much for submitting this deck list. I do appreciate it. We gotta get one more win out of the next two games. For max, max profit. Staying hydrated for the win. I certainly try. Ooh, fearsome whelp. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Getting another trigger on these uh, gold span dragons is gonna be sweet, because even if they divide by zero them, we still get that discount. It's gonna be tough to deal with. It's gonna be great, I hope. Scoop time? I certainly hope so. I mean, they have something here. Interesting, they chose to kill that rather than the tyrant. They must not be scared of the damage. I think it's the correct choice. Um, I mean, it depends what's in our hand, right? We might not have another dragon or if we have only one dragon, then it might not be the right choice.
I think the idea is that they can't handle a lot of dragons coming out very quickly, which is what the whelp does, but they don't know how many we have. The tyrant is a real threat now. Uh, in addition to they kind of need to keep this land around. So are they able to risk shocking themselves over and over again? Clearly, answer, clearly the answer was yes. Uh, I think this just is 100% a... Um, I'll do this now because the Goldspan Dragon is about to die. Um, this is going to be a board clear for sure, but we have another Goldspan Dragon that will come down next turn. What are your favorite collabs, streams, videos you have done with the others? That's a good question. Um, one of the favorite things I have done so far has been... Um... Game Nights was really cool. This makes a treasure. That gives us four mana. So we put, yeah, we play two. That gives us two, four. Oh, that's right. That would be enough. Because we get the treasure, and then we get this, pay with treasure. It becomes a five, five. Great. Now they have no blue mana, feels good. Boo. It's a, it's a shame we don't have like the hive, hive mind or the bug bear den because that would just be lethal. So cool. The heck's this do? When I just battle to choose an instant or sorcery card in your hand, mana value three or greater, it gains two less. Okay, so you're gonna get to remove or kill something. Board clear would cost one more mana, right? If they had another Doom Scar. So this is just snap dead, right? Actually, it's only worth one point of damage. I shouldn't have gone into combat. I think we can actually... Go here. And then we can discard our hand. And draw a card? Great. Should have done that pre-combat, taking them to two would have been ideal. But the difference between two and three shouldn't matter in this deck, as far as I can tell. What's your favorite? Oh yeah, sorry, collabs. So yeah, Game Nights was really fun. Uh, Loading Ready Run pre-pre-release was like a huge uh, thing that I got to be a part of, which was great. Okay, they would have been dead if I had just hit them for one last time, <laughs> but that's fine. This is fine. Um, yeah, they had three fateful absences. Happens. We still win. Victory! hey -oh! We went 7-1 with this Dragon's List, guys. This deck is sweet. It's a ton of fun. It's pretty cheap for alchemy because most of these cards are old. You guys will have been, ha you know, playing these cards for a long time. Um, let's take one more quick look at the deck list. LK, thank you for uh, submitting it. 
Uh, we have the Olivia's, which we never got to use, but there's only one. Everything else is super old. If you don't have gold span dragons, what are you doing in standard for the last year? Uh, Predator's old. So we've got four tyrants and four uncommon whelps. Everything else is old news. Uh, and very cheap for mana base. Like this is an uncommon. And we've got four, eight rares. You don't even need the, the uh, haunted edges, haunted ridges, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is this is cheap budget. You saw how well it did. You can definitely build up your collection by slamming some uh, events with this deck. So super fun. Like I said, it's down below in the info section of the YouTube video. So make sure you guys check it out. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I want to know how you have been enjoying or hating alchemy. Keep it reasonable. Keep it productive. But uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys have been thinking. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.